So we have two more files that we have to do. The blog layout and the blog post component. So the blog post component, we're going to be using this inside of our blog page. So we're going to fetch the posts in he right here, and then we're going to map that to the blog post component. So let's go ahead and build this out. So I'll go ahead and paste in a couple of imports. Pretty basic stuff. React, next link, uh, the chakra components, and then this is a new one. Basically, this will just allow us to parse through the date. Remember, that's being imported in this um, style here. And it will display that in whatever style we choose. So let's say const blog post. And inside of here, we can grab the title, published at, and summary. And we can grab the slug and be sure to export that at the bottom. Before we return, let's first grab a reference to the color mode. And we're gonna want to set a variable for the secondary text color. If it's light, let's make it gray 700. And if it is dark, let's make it gray 400. Now we can return. Inside of here, we're going to want to wrap this in one uh, next link. And the href will be the blog slug. So we're going to say blog slash. And then we can put the slug that we're getting. And then we're going to say pass href because this is an internal uh, link. Now to save time, I'm going to go ahead and paste in the rest of this. So this is what I pasted in. Pretty basic. I'm just putting a link with 100, give it some hover styling. And then you can see I'm using the title here. I'm using the published at, and I'm using that um, formatting for the uh, date to format it in this style here. Month, 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 day, day, year, 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 year. And then here's the summary using that secondary text color. So pretty basic stuff, not going to spend time going into that. Let's go ahead back into the uh, blog page and let's actually fetch the posts down here and map them to this component. So to fetch, it is simply one line. We're gonna say const posts and set that equal to await. And then we have our get all files front matter and that takes in the folder called blog and we need to import that from the uh, mdx.js file so we'll say import get all files front matter from lib slash mdx and let me go down here and make sure that's spelled correctly there we go. So now we can go ahead and use this. So right below the log heading, I'm going to say posts.map front matter. And we're going to map that to the blog post. We're going to set the key equal to front matter dot title and remove this. This is self closing. And we also need to say dot, 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 front matter. All right, so before we run this, we need to import everything we use. So for example, we need to import this date FNS. We need to import FS, gray matter, reading time, all of this stuff. So go ahead and open up package.json so we can see everything we're gonna import. And what I suggest you do is go to the GitHub and simply paste in all of these imports. Okay, there's a couple of new ones. Gray matter, reading time, next MDX remote, the main one, and a couple of others. And once you do that, we can run yarn and that will regenerate all of the uh, files associated with yarn.
and then we can run our app. And if you go to slash blog, you're going to get this error here. And that is because we forgot to actually add this uh, function here. So back in mdx.js, right below get files or get file by slug, you're going to want to go ahead and paste this code here. And if we restart the server, we should be good to go. All right, so we got past that. Now we're getting this error, invalid time value. So that would be because the time is incorrect. And that is because this should not be 30, but it should be 03, because remember it's year, month, day. Okay, and as you can see, it is coming through. So we have blog, we have our test post here, and the styling is a little off. I'm not sure why that is. These should be uh, apart. I think it's because the description just isn't long enough. Let's see what happens if I do this. So as you can see, our post is coming through. And if I go ahead and let's go ahead and do another post. Let me go ahead and copy this. We'll say another post. Maybe we'll change the date to uh, 20. Eight, and we'll say another test post and there we go so we can see it the next thing I want to do is I want to put a search bar up top here allowing the user to search for a post so we can do that very easily in Next.js back in our blog page here let's first import the search icon and that is from the chakra icon set chakra UI icons and then right below here we're going to say const search value comma set search value set that equal to use state and initially that's going to be an empty string so initially give us back all of the posts now we need to filter the posts based on this value here. So we're going to say const filtered blog posts is equal to posts. We're going to say dot sort. So let's go ahead and sort them alphabetically. To do that in JavaScript, we're going to say a comma b, error notation, number, we're going to say new date b dot published at to number new date a dot published at so sort descendingly and then we're going to say dot filter front matter front matter dot title dot to lowercase so get the title of the post convert it to lowercase and we're going to say includes the search value dot to lowercase so we're creating this variable here filtered blog posts we're saying they equal to all the posts initially we're sorting it alphabetically descending and then we're filtering based on the title so we're getting the title converting it to lowercase and we're saying, does that include the search value? If it does, that's true. Include it in this filtered post. If it's not, if it doesn't include that, we don't want it. And now we can use this filtered blog posts to uh, map instead of all the posts. So we're going to say if filtered blog posts dot length. So if so, if the filtered blog posts length is zero. That must mean we don't have any posts. So we can go ahead and display no posts found to the user. And then we can say filtered blog posts dot map. And we're going to map it the same way. So let me copy this, get rid of that, paste that in there. So same thing, except now instead of mapping over all the posts, we're just mapping over the filter blog posts. So now we're filtering, but we don't actually allow the user to filter. So we need uh, an input area so the user can type in text. 
Luckily, we have that in Chakra. We're going to use these elements here, right below the heading. We're going to add an input group. We're going to say input. We'll give it an area label. We'll give it a placeholder. And then on change, we're going to grab that value. And we are going to set the search value to that value. So e.target.value. Okay, and this is self-closing, so don't need that. And then we're going to add an input right element, just like that, using that search icon. Let's go ahead and restart the server because it looks like that got stopped. And before we go check that out, I want to add one more thing here in the title. We're going to reference to how many posts we have by saying dollar sign posts dot length posts. So we're just putting how many posts we have in parentheses. Let's go back to our server, spit, refresh, and there we go. So two posts. Uh, why is that? All right, looks like we don't need that dollar sign. And here is our search. So if I say test post, nothing happens because they both include test post. But if I say another, as you see, it disappears. So that is pretty cool. And if I get rid of all of them, no posts found. And then we can also add some padding too. So for example, we'd probably want to increase this margin bottom to four, maybe give this a margin bottom of four, give it a margin right of four and a width of 100. All right, so that's pretty cool. So now that we have this page working, we have one last thing to do, and that would be the blog.js layout, because right now if we go to the post, we get an error because it's undefined. We don't have anything here. Let's go ahead and build this layout. So this is going to be very similar to a normal page. I'll paste this in. As you see, this is exactly like index and blog page are. We need our function. We're passing in the children and the front matter. And then inside of here, all we're going to do is simply return our container. We need our head our stack and our flex, like all of the other pages. Let's get our color mode. And we need a reference to the slug of the blog post. So we're going to say const router is equal to use router. And we're going to say const slug is equal to router dot as path dot replace slash blog with an empty string. So replace blog this with that. So now we have the slug. So let's build out the rest of this page. As you recall, everything goes in here. So what we could do is we could just say children. And if we leave it like this and go back here, we should only see body of that post. And if that doesn't work for you, be sure to go to the MDX uh, file. And this uh, method here, get file by slug, you want to make sure this matches mine. But the children of the post is coming through. So that's pretty cool. But we want to show the title, the author, and format it a little better. So that's what we're going to do inside of this flex here. Let's first do the title. We'll wrap that in a heading and we can grab that by front matter dot title. Next, we want a flex and we want to display the author image, the reading time and the date published. I'm going to go ahead and paste in that code because it's just basic UI code. All right, here we go. This is what I pasted in. 
So we have a flex space between another flex aligning center, which is a vertical align. We have our avatar, which I'm grabbing that from images inside of the public folder. So to add your image, you can go inside of the public folder here, create a new folder called images, and mine is called portrait.jpg, so that would be in here. And then we're also going to put the blog post images in here as well. So if you want to use a post an, an image in your post, create a folder inside of here with that blog post name, and then you can grab it through there. So that's the avatar. Here we have some text formatting the date again. We have the author name, and then the reading time. Now if we go back, you can see that's all coming through. So we have the post title, this info here, and the reading time, and then the actual post itself. And if we go back to the blog and go to test post, we see that come through, so it's different. And if we go look at the URL, the root is slash blog, slash, and then the slug. In this case, another post. That is the MDX file name. So that is it for this video, guys. As you see, we built out the entire MDX remote pages blog in Next.js and Chakra UI. It was a lot of work, um, and I know I copied and pasted quite a bit of code, but I wanted to finish this in either one or two videos. We'll see what the running time is when I edit this and if I have to break it up. Um, but all the code is on my GitHub, so you can go check that out. And let me show you guys what we're going to do in the next video. So if I come to this post here, I'm going to paste in an actual post from my website. So you can see all of the markdown elements. We have our intro, we have a little outline. I'm using a list. I'm using h2 tag, an ordered list. Uh, link, some bold text, and here are some images that won't come through, um, but this is how you would do that. And then down here we have a code block, and this is what I want to show you, because if you go check this out, what is this post called? Test post. All right, here it is. It's coming through. If I scroll down, everything looks good. This ordered list, the links look good. The title, uh, the headings look good. All this looks good. The images aren't coming through, but that's okay. If we get all the way to the bottom, you'll notice that the code block doesn't come through. And if you compare that to my website, mine looks a lot better. And that is because I'm using Prism to style the code. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next video. We're going to be adding Prism to our site so we can style the code in our blog posts a lot better. And it's going to be very similar to how we styled these MDX components, but it's going to be a lot quicker because it only involves one or two files. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I'll see you guys in the next one.